Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back. My name is Nani and Sands. This, of course, is Learn How to Edit Stuff. And today, we're talking about a free plugin in After Effects that you may or may not have heard of before. We're, we're gonna find out by the end of this video, but it's called AE Juice. Have you heard of AE Juice before? Have you heard of it? Well, if not, roll the clip. Uh, yeah, uh, we don't think you made the clip. But yeah, yes, I did. I made it this morning. Can you... Oh, sorry, sorry. Roll the clip. Bravo, whoever made that montage. Really, really nice work. Okay, Ian, what is AE Juice? AE Juice is a plugin for Adobe After Effects that contains a very powerful animation preset browser that is chocked full of amazing stuff. So AE Juice at its core is a free plugin for After Effects. You can go and download it right now, pay no money, and comes with a lot of free, great stuff but I truly feel like the potential of this plugin is really unlocked when you buy the paid packs. And don't even start with me. Why are you asking us to buy stuff? I don't see the value in paying any money for anything. Okay, stop with the YouTube comments and the whining, guys. I wouldn't be making this video if I didn't think that AE Juice was great, and I do think that AE Juice is great. Those of you that want to complain can go and still download it for free. And those of you that actually see the value in your time, time versus money, we're gonna talk about that later. Those of you that see the value in your time, you will go and you will purchase some of the packs. You can purchase one, two, however many you want, doesn't matter. So I am partnering with AE Juice on this video. They sent me an email. They said, hey, we really like your stuff. Do you like our stuff? And I said, yeah, actually I do really like your stuff. So as a part of the partnership with AE Juice, I do get a very small amount of money if you guys decide to purchase packs. So if you like anything that you see in the rest of this video and you want to purchase some packs, my recommendations are ones that you find interesting. Please, for the love of God, use the links in the video description below to use my affiliate link because that small amount of money, when you buy a pack of AE juice presets that are really dope and I highly recommend it. That small amount of money will fund my caffeine addiction and you all know how crazy that addiction is. Yes, friends helping friends. Here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna go to aejuice.com. You're gonna sign up for an account using your name at probably gmail.com and then throw in a password and hit the buttons that you need to press. Step two, you're gonna go to the link in the video description below and download the AE juice pack manager for either Windows or Mac. Download it and install it on your computer. Once you install it, you can open up Adobe After Effects and follow along with me, or you can sit back, relax, enjoy. I'm gonna go through some of the free presets, the paid presets, all the reasons why I think that this plugin is really awesome. I do stuff with my hands a lot, but we're gonna add AE juice to it right now to make it look cooler. Just sit back and relax and chill, and let's look at some AE juice. All right, guys, Adobe After Effects is open, and I have a 1920 by 1080 composition right down here on my timeline, but that doesn't matter. What does matter is coming right up here to Window once you've installed AE Juice and opening the AE Juice Pack Manager, and it will open it up right inside of After Effects. Now, the first thing I would recommend doing is taking this little tab and just kind of docking it over right here on the left-hand side of the All Panels so that you can see both your composition and AE Juice docked in After Effects simultaneously. Now, let's check out what's going on in AE Juice. Right up here at the top, we got the free packs, and right underneath we have the store. You guys will be able to try out anything in the store for free. And you will also have some download buttons next to all of these packs. So go ahead and download all of the free ones to get started. And by the end of this video, you'll kind of know which ones from the store you would like to purchase. But when you do purchase stuff from the store, use my affiliate links in the video description below. I know I said I would only say it once, but I'm saying it again. Use my links and then they will appear in the store once you log in with the account that you already created at the beginning of this video. Did you create an account? Well, if you haven't, create your account. Cause then you can come right up here to your account and go to log in, click on the login button and then it will activate all of your purchases. I've gone ahead and purchased all of the different packs so I could show you guys everything I possibly could in this video today. And then the free ones will be down at the bottom. All right, let's go ahead and start with the starter pack. I'm gonna single click on the starter pack and it will open up a bunch of different animation presets that you see here. And they are kind of all simultaneously playing at the same time. And you can scroll down here and there's a bunch of different options for you guys to choose from, and I find it to be a little bit distracting when all of them are playing at the same time. If you also feel the same, you can come right down here to this play pause button, just click on that, and now you can hover over any of these panels and just preview them individually. So the starter pack is basically just a little appetizer, a little taster for what you'll get in all of the different paid versions, and they are categorized as such. So this is the Liquid Elements starter pack, but the Liquid Elements paid version will have significantly more than this, and I'll show you guys that a little bit later in the video, and so on and so on. 
Once you find something that you like, there are three ways to get it onto your composition. You can double click on the one that you like and it will automatically throw it down on your composition and you can preview it as such. You can also drag and drop it straight onto your composition. It will do the exact same thing or you can single click on it and hit this import button and it will also put it onto your composition. Three ways to play and once they are in your composition, they work like any other layer in After Effects. So I can scale this up. I can move it around in my composition. I can make it a 3D layer and I can rotate it in 3D and it works exactly the same that you guys are used to seeing in After Effects. Now, they will all come into your composition as pre-comps and if I double click on that pre-comp, I can now change the color with this color control slider. So I'll go from red to white and now when I go back to my composition, that explosion is now white. You will see there is a little marker down here on the pre-comp that says in, and if you slide this around, you can actually change the speed of the animation to make it go faster or slower. So whatever you guys need to do as far as frame rates are concerned, you can do that here. Obviously, the slower you go, you'll have to extend the pre-comp and you'll kind of get some weird frame lag because they're not actually meant to go that slow. So I do recommend just speeding them up if you need to speed them up because they do look significantly better sped up. Again, this is all part of the free starter pack in the free version of the plugin, and there's a bunch of other free stuff down here as well, but I really think the fun starts to happen when you go and check out some of the paid elements. Let's check out the liquid elements pack like I mentioned earlier, just so you guys can see how many different things are included in the paid version. I am scrolling and scrolling and scrolling forever. There is so much good stuff in here. The library is absolutely massive and there are a ton of really amazing things. So once you download and pay for one of the paid packs, a couple different options get opened up to you. You can actually add stuff to your favorites, which will throw it up here in a little favorites folder and it will categorize your favorites by their type. You can also set a master color for all of the animations down here. So if I wanted all of these things to have a uniform color, I can now set my color, drag and drop that onto my timeline. It will retain the color of the color I just set down here instead of it being the preview color, but I can very simply just delete that fill layer right off of the pre-comp and it will retain the same color that you see in the preview. I can also change the animation style of all of these things by coming right down here to this cog wheel and it will open up and give you a bunch of different options that you can uniformly add to all of your animations. So if I double click on glow and now I drag and drop this onto my timeline down here, it will have a glow effect applied to it. It looks really good and I literally didn't have to do anything and I can come in and change this to whatever I want. If I wanted it to be a doodle outline, I can now add this to my composition and it will be a doodle outline. So there are a lot of different animation styles that you guys can play around with. It is a very very powerful plugin. Now, obviously we are just going to scratch the surface of this plugin today. I'm not gonna cover everything. This video would be so long, but you can only imagine the possibilities that are available to you right at your fingertips in After Effects with something like this. Since I got all this stuff, my workflow has sped up considerably and I'm able to add a lot of life and a lot of character to my motion graphics that I'm working on in a very, very little amount of time. And those of you that have watched my previous videos, maybe you're new to my channel, I always say this, time is money, money is time. Your time has a monetary value associated to it. So the more more time you spend, the more money you spend, and the more time you save, the more money you save. And the money that you're gonna invest into something like AE Juice is gonna far outweigh the time commitment that it would take you to replicate even 1% of everything that's in this. And what's funny about this plugin is they actually have that methodology built into it. It's really funny, check this out. Look, right up here at the top, it says total saved 1425. How do we calculate this? Well, 114 imports at roughly 15 minutes per thing at a rate of roughly $50 per thing is $1,400 saved right now. This this is obviously just like a funny little thing to get you to buy the plugin, but it is absolutely true. Time is money and money is time. Your time has monetary value associated to it. So how much time are you gonna spend to do this yourself? versus how much money you're gonna to spend to just have everything available to you right away. All right, let me show you exactly what I mean. I'm gonna start a new composition. I'm gonna drop an After Effects logo right into that composition and I'm going to scale it down. And I just wanna animate this logo, okay? So I'm gonna animate it popping in. I'm gonna set a scale keyframe, go over one, two, three, four keyframes, and I'm gonna scale it up pretty big and then go one, two, three, four keyframes and scale it down just a little bit smaller. And of course, I'm going to easy ease these keyframes to smooth it out a little bit. And look at me, I've just animated, oh, my quality is in potato. There we go. So there you go, I've animated this logo. It looks real nice, it's real simple. And what else can I do with this? Well, using AE Juice, obviously, I'm gonna come right up here to my favorites and I'm gonna add this little explosion in there. And now guys, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the color of this explosion to an After Effects type purple. And I'm going to just stick it right here at the front and cover the After Effects logo. Now check this out. Look at that, nice. I've just given it a little bit of life and a little bit of awesomeness and it took me no time at all. So exiting out of liquid elements, I'm gonna to go to my shape elements 
And again, inside of the shape elements pack, there are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of different things, and they're all really, really awesome, but I have some favorites already saved for this tutorial. I'm gonna double click on this little circle guy right here and double click on this pre-comp, and I'm going to change the color of these circles from red to a nice purple. I don't know, we're doing things. I'm gonna put a glimmer in there as well. Again, double click on that guy, come up here to my effect controls, change it from red to white, pop back over into my composition. Maybe we'll scale it up just a little bit and we'll put it right on the corner here. Look at this, guys. It gives it so much life and so much character, and I didn't have to do a tremendous amount of work. I didn't have to spend a bunch of time animating this myself to get this to look absolutely perfect. It's a drag and drop situation, and doing that myself would have taken me probably an hour at least to make it look this good, right? And I just dragged and dropped it on my timeline. We did it in real time. How much money and time does that save? Tell me. Tell me how much money and time. A lot. The answer is a lot. And if you don't believe me from this real time example, I went ahead and made this lyric video for you guys inside of After Effects. Drop some AE juice on it and I jazzed it up in like 20 minutes. Check it out. Miss that smile. Lord knows I ain't seen that in a while, but it's your style. So something must be up keeping you down. Ah, the possibilities are endless, you're blowing my mind. Look, I am super stoked that AE Juice wanted to work with me on this. This plugin is really, really cool and I will 100,000% incorporate it into my motion graphics workflow every time I'm animating something just to give it a little bit of salt, a little bit of spice right on there, the salt bay, bam. AE Juice. Look, I don't think I have to sell you guys on this plugin, right? The results speak for themselves. It is really, really cool and a really well done design and interface into After Effects to speed up your workflow. But please do your own research. Go to aejuice.com. Look at all the different packs that are available to you. There is a deal going on right now. If you want the I Want It All bundle, which is what I did, it is $199 for everything that they offer. And it is a crazy, crazy good deal for how much stuff you get for real and use my affiliate link in the description below. All the information and everything you need to know is in the video description below. And if you haven't yet, please make sure you subscribe to the channel and also check out the last video that you missed. We do them here weekly at Learn How to Edit Stuff at Naughty and Sands on social media. If you wanna get in touch with me and suggest a tutorial for me to do, subscribe, check out the last video, and I will see you guys next time, eh, juice?